Good morning. Please excuse my children. It is Saturday and today is a busy day for us. <laughs> Things going on, so they're hyper and they're, you know, being children. Ah! Okay, let me, let me clear these cards out. So I am going to get messages today. I didn't have a lot of reading, so my energy level isn't totally, you know, kaput at this point. I am still sick. It is now in my chest. Yay, go me. <laughs> but I'm hanging in there, so... Yeah. All right, so, oh, wait a second, I forgot my Halloween deck. Can't forget this one. My husband now jokes around and he calls it the Halloween deck. Gosh, now he's been calling Halloween Halloweeny because I mean, <laughs> oh, I'm like, yeah, I know. Oh my God, my daughter is the loudest of them all, and she's five. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Jeez, something cute about her, by the way. She goes to school. Her name. Her name means clean, okay, and um, it's funny because she's in school with a boy whose name is King, and they have a crush on each other, and one of my other sons is like, oh my gosh, how weird is that? Her name means queen, and his name is King. I was like, yeah, probably in a past life they were king and queen, who knows, <laughs> and he was like, oh my gosh, I never thought about that. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. All right. What are the messages for the feminine energies? What are the messages for the feminine energies? You speak to me through music. Oh. You were the best thing in my life. I wish I had treated you better. I will wait for a sign from you. I can't stop thinking about you. <coughs> Let me pull up my... Please excuse my hacking. I am sick. So let me... Pull up the song here. So it is going to be a song by Louis Capaldi. Let's see here. Hate You, Love You by Olivia O'Brien. I hate you, love you. You can look that up, but that's the song okay, that we got today for the feminines. Or if you have a song that comes to your mind or you have that hearing a song then that's him or them coming through messages for the feminine energies messages for the feminine I need to focus on my healing I was careless with you thank you for leaving me I hope I will see you again sometime yes it is too late I'm happy that it's over Oof. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Ow. Why is this person happy that it's over? Why that it, why is this person happy it's over? The timing just wasn't right for us okay that was the mess that's why 
the timing just wasn't right. Okay, so, all right, let's see. So what are the messages for, we're going to do these first. What are the messages for the feminine energies? The messages for the feminine energies. Messages for the feminine energies. Addictions, physical addictions, emotionally addictive thoughts, or negative patterns of behavior are affecting this connection. Um, true love, this is a divine connection. Tune into the subtle energy you are receiving about the situation. Awaken your heart chakra. <coughs> what is the clarify the red flag here, please? Clarify the red flag. Um, dreams important dream messages are being given to you. This is a past life soulmate here, but this is also parasitic. One party benefits while the other is depleted, divine masculine. Um, reflect on your divine masculine. Wow, what in the world? I feel like this is a toxic divine masculine, to be honest. Whoever this is, they are, this is a twin flame, but this person is toxic. Um, and I've told you guys that before, like, I told you that you could, your twin flame could be toxic, right? <coughs> <coughs> My God, I'm so sorry. I have told you guys this before. We all have free will. We're all human. None of us are, you know, perfect, right? We're not Jesus. We're not, you know, completely. We don't stay in high vibration 24-7. That's just not possible. That's We're human. We're having a human experience. We are. We have wants and needs and desires and addictions and all kinds of things, right? If someone, if there is a divine masculine that has an addiction, they are going to engage in parasitic behavior. That's common sense, okay? I know somebody may dislike this video and be like, oh, yeah, okay, no, this, I'm, I'm done with this reading. Well, I'm sorry that you're triggered, but maybe take a look at what tr is triggering you and that can actually teach you, okay? I know it's hard because I had to sit here and think, okay, I'm being triggered. Why am I upset? You, that's what you, that's what the universe is calling you to do. Whenever you get pissed off or you feel hurt or you feel bothered by a situation, what is this creating? Pay attention to your feelings. Pay attention to how you feel. What needs to be healed? Why are you so bothered by your, by this? Okay. If this person isn't calling you, why do you, why are you bothered so much? What are you trying to accomplish? Right. Why are you so attached to this person? And I understand love. We may love someone. But loving is someone is not possessing them, is not controlling the connection. It is allowing someone the space to live their life. You cannot control someone's addictions. You, cannot, you can show someone a new path, but you can't make them walk down that path, right? The same situation about leading a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. You can show him the way out, but it doesn't mean he's going to take it. Okay. So there is a toxic divine masculine here. But the messages for the divine feminine is about awakening your heart center and letting your heart and letting love in. You may not have this person may have done something to you that you do not forgive this person for. So you're kind of cold and resisting and detached. That's not unconditional love. We don't we don't detachment is not cold. Right? Letting someone go 
to find themselves and get themselves help and hopefully they do better is not about closing our heart, closing our feelings and saying, fuck that person. That's not it. That's not what detachment is. Detachment is understanding you have a connection with this person, sending love and good energy to that person, wishing the best for that person, even if they end up married with a family and that's to a totally different person than you. That's what unconditional love is. That's what, that is what a divine connection is. It's loving someone no matter what path they choose. And perhaps you have to love them from afar. Okay. Messages for the Divine Masculine, the Masculine Energies. Messages for the Masculine Energies. Messages for the Masculine Energies. Twin Flames. Mm -hmm. All right, this wanted to come out. So this is messages for the masculine energies. If you're asking, questioning, is this my twin flame? Yes, this is your twin flame. I feel like this person may not want to be a twin flame. That's the energy that I'm getting. I don't feel like this person wants to be a twin. I feel like this person wants to pretend this never happened. This is a divine connection. Accepting yourself as they are and others as they are liberates patterns of resistance. Set your intentions high and know you deserve to receive love, joy, and happiness. Radical attraction and sexual pull come with inconsistency and detachment, a theme of freedom. No expectations are the best expectations to have. <laughs> new love or a new phase in love is beginning. So I feel like this is for a twin flame. Like you guys are not going to have a standard connection. You guys are not going to have a perfect 3D life. This is a divine connection that whoever I'm speaking to right now, you are not going to have the connection and the bond that you are going to have is not going to look like anything you've ever had before. Meaning, you're not going to have a white picket fence and babies with this person. This is going to be something different. This is why I keep, I feel like I keep pulling the same message. There's something about whoever I'm connecting with, whether it be one couple or a few couples, you're not going to have, it's not going to look like what you thought it was. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Any clarity around that? This connection has a very strong empathic and telepathic soul bond. So, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> they clarified what I was saying with the telepathy card. That, to me, they are telling me that this is going to be probably more so more of a spiritual connection than an actual physical connection. Okay? Because if you know anything about Twin Flames, you know that we are already in union in the 5D. You're already in union in the 5D. Okay? I feel like this person is communicating very strongly telepathically. You know who I'm talking about. This means you can see this person's name everywhere. You're probably seeing people that look like this person. You're seeing this person's date of birth or maybe favorite number, um, something. You're always thinking about this person. That's why. Because this person is always communicating with you in the spiritual realm. Okay. So any clarity over why they're not going to have a normal connection? just so they can kind of understand this. <clears throat> this 
So, <coughs> the reason, <coughs> excuse me, the reason why is because this is about, their, this person is working through patterns of control, power, manipulation, and intense push and pull attraction. Intimacy is not possessive. This person is, so the reason why this is not going to be in person right now is because this person is supposed to be working through their toxic patterns of being very possessive. This person has a very, um, hard time not being controlling, manipulative. This person may want power. Someone is also not being honest or is withholding information about how they feel, what they think. Red flag, you need to be listening to your body, your gut, your intuition about this connection. Do things differently in order to bring health and vitality into your love life. So this is all about new patterns. The way in which you guys did relationship before was not good. It was toxic. They want you to do something different. This is why you're going to have a different connection. And there is too much distance to maintain this connection. So someone is obviously ghosting the other one. You know, uh, this more than likely it was purely physical attraction. So you guys obviously just engaged in probably nothing but sex. And it was mostly about sex when, in fact, you guys were shorting yourself with this connection because you are actually twin flames. Wow. This is just very wild. Something told me to take that long on that, so that's why I did that. Did I already read the other deck? No, I didn't do these. Okay, so messages for the feminine energy. Messages for the feminine energies. Messages for the feminine energies. Spiritual contracts attracting your soul family. I think so highly of you. Phoenix rising. We got that same card yesterday as well. So, Spiritual mission. You are ready. Distance is hard for me. That's Divine Masculine coming in. Uh, yes. All right. Messages to Divine Masculine or Masculine Energy here. Messages to Masculine Energy. Messages for the Masculine Energy. You are shifting, you are changing your energy so the world around you is shifting. I just can't walk away. I'm clearing past life traumas. The timing is off to reconnect. That's why you're not together. Any clarity around why the timing is off? I carry guilt over what happened. This person feels guilty. But all the signs are pointing to you. You are their North Star. Okay, so let's take a look here. What does the divine, the feminine energy need to focus on today? What does the feminine energy need to focus on today? What does the feminine energy need to focus on today? What does the feminine energy need to focus on today? Oh, wow. Can't make this up. Feeling guilty that they sabotaged this connection. Hot attraction. They need to focus on a reunion with this person. How they feel, how hot attracted they feel to this person. Or that's chemistry, right? The chemistry that they have with this person is not to be ignored. I feel like someone is lying to themselves like, oh, this is just a random connection. This isn't anything. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. What is blocking the feminine energy? What is blocking the feminine energy? What is going to be blocking the feminine energy? What is blocking the feminine energy? 
what is blocking the feminine? Oop, this wanted to come out. Third party is blocking the feminine and not taking care of yourself. So there is a third party in this situation. Someone, there's someone else blocking the feminine that is coming in as a block and you need to take care of yourself. So if you have toxic friends, family, whatever, any toxic people around you, you need to eliminate them because they're blocking things in your life. <clears throat> and also try to pay attention to your self-care and your energy levels. Okay. <clears throat> what does the masculine energy need to focus on today? What does the masculine energy need to focus on today? The masculine energy. Oof, that is, mm, I was not expecting that many. So the masculine energy needs to focus on the feelings that they feel distance. Yeah. Okay. So they're at a distance. The masculine energy, you need to be focused on someone you are in separation from. You are at a distance from. You feel rejected by this person, but there's something you're clinging to here that is your comfort zone. Um, I feel like this is probably either you engaging in another connection or you trying to detach yourself emotionally from this person, like I was speaking of earlier. And that's why this is happening. Like this is in your energy. You need to focus on this so you can heal this and elevate. I feel like you're dreaming about this person. You're getting messages in your dreams. What is this comfort zone? Clarify this comfort zone here. You could have met this person in the spring or you could have done something maybe um, separated in the spring, started focusing on yourself. Well, that's a good thing. <laughs> Why is this coming in as a block, though? Why is this coming in as a block? There's something about you celebrating your gifts and coming together with this person. I feel like you don't think this is going to happen your abundance. You, you're you celebrating your abundance, but you're doubting lacking what? What is the masculine energy lack doubting? You're avoiding. Avoiding what? Wow. Okay. You... You can't make this up, dude. Wow. You're avoiding the guilt you feel over sabotaging this connection. The ancestors are, your ancestors are guiding you to try to help you through this. Your wish fulfillment is a divorce. Sorry, not sorry. This is ending a karmic cycle. This is you going to your, your purpose, activating your higher self. You're avoiding this because you feel guilty. You're not letting go of a situation. And this could either be, you know, this could be, this is, I'm not going to say this could be. This is a divorce. This is a, it says right here, this came out and they knew I was going to do this. This is why they wanted to clarify the karma card. I was going to say, well, maybe it's a spiritual. No, they knew I was going to do that. That's why they clarified it with this one. This is a contract, tr contracted commitment. This is what the Divine Masculine is feeling. Oh my God, I can't possibly do this. This is their shadow side coming in and messing with their head. It's very sad, to be honest, that people would stay miserable in a connection because of guilt. going to come in as a block. Did I already say that? I don't even remember. What is going to come in as a block for the masculine energy? I don't know if I did this or not. 
this is going to be a block, an offer, stability, trying to create stability, harmony, empower, strength, empowerment. This is a block, an offer to you. What is this? Why is this a block? These are all positive, but they're blocks. Why? Oh, Lord. Oh, my Lord. Okay. This is a block. Let's look at this better. This is a block because I feel like what they're saying is You're trying to create self-love and stability and harmony and strength within a connection that is not meant for you. It's someone else. You're feminine. Okay. This is someone you're at a distance from that is reflecting everything that you need to be doing back to you. They led you to a crossroads. This could be a water sign feminine, or this could be a feminine who led you to your emotions, or you could be attached to a water sign here. That makes it hard because they feed into your ego. Okay. So basically what I'm getting out of this out of this reading is that you were creating self-love with the third party, but this water sign is feeding your ego and keeping you stuck in this, right? Is that accurate? Is that accurate? Wow. Yes. This person may be trying to have chemistry and passion with you in a very toxic way. Okay. I feel like this is who you have a family home and commitment with and you are supposed to be having the courage to change this. Which is what we literally just saw in the cards before your ancestors are guiding you you have regret guilt avoiding lack be open to receiving that hey i think i've been lying to myself this whole time you're watching could be watching someone else form a solid foundation and structure and this depresses you because this could be your feminine doing this is that accurate who is this that they're watching form a solid structure you can't make this shit up this could be an earth sign that you're attached to this is your twin flame you are separated from this person wow like All right, let's ask the Halloween deck what you should be focusing on today. <laughs> what does the feminine energy need to be focusing on today? What does the feminine energy need to be focused on today? What does the feminine energy? Death and the future. So I really feel like what they're saying is changing for the future. The eternal cycle begins here. There's something that could be ending in order to prepare you for the future as well. There's definitely change coming, and it is for your future. I feel like this is a, they're getting you ready for something big, okay? What is this that could be coming for the feminine energy that she can't see because she's blinded? You're not going to be able to see this coming. This has something to do with the love and legacy of your DNA. This is something that has to do in regards to your family. Control. 
Hmm. This is something about control that you don't see coming. <coughs> I don't feel like you're going to be able to control this. This is destined. This is fated. Any clarity over what this is, though? This is a blind spot. See? I told you. You're not going to be able to see it. This is going to come. You're not going to see this coming at all. Okay. I don't think you're intended to. I don't think you're meant to see this. I don't think you're meant to know this for the simple fact that we got the control card. And um, this is obviously someone who is very controlling. And this is part of your lesson to let go of control and just have faith. All right. What should the masculine energies focus on today? What should the masculine energies focus on today? So basically, I feel like the cards are telling you just to let go, enjoy your life, have fun today, right? Relax, take care of yourself. Watch some TV. The new season of You came out. I watched three episodes yesterday. I have to tell you, I'm not that impressed. Um, however, but, you know, have fun today, right? Chill out. Whatever's coming is going to come. This is faded. Whatever's coming towards you is faded. And they don't want to tell me, and they don't want you to know. So you're just not going to know. What does the masculine energy need to focus on today? Fortune meets opportunity. An opportunity that is going to come towards you. And it could involve healing. This is, they want you to know this is an eternal love. This is involving someone who you are eternally connected to, a.k.a. Twin Flame, of course, obviously. Let's see what's coming towards the masculine energy, since they don't want to tell us what's coming towards the feminine. What's coming towards the masculine energy? What's coming towards the masculine energy? Intuition. Oh. Really? Strength. So your intuition? Strength. Maybe I feel like this is what they're saying is that strength is going to come in for the masculine energy. Okay? Um, he is going to develop a sense of strength and he may, this may be the strength that he needed to follow his intuition. That is why the, the feminine energy is not going to see this coming. The feminine is not going to see this coming. This may come very quickly. Ironically enough, I was called to look into the globe, which I've never done before, but they wanted me to look into it. I see mountains and trees here in this globe here, whatever that may be mean for some of you. Okay. I feel like the masculine is getting ready to do something and you're not going to see this coming feminine <laughs> and they don't want you're not supposed to see this coming because this is faded so you're not supposed to I can ask see what they tell me but I don't think they want me to know <laughs> what is coming towards the feminine energy that she's not going to see that she doesn't see coming what is coming towards the feminine that she's not going to see? They want it to come out. Union. Wow. You're not going to see this coming at all. Remember that. Okay. So on that note, we are going to end. And I will see you guys in the morning. If you would like a reading, you can contact me. My information is in the description box. Um, I will be doing readings later on this afternoon. I am feeling better, so readings will more than likely be back on schedule today. Later this afternoon and this evening, doing them. I am still a little sick. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Um, it's my throat's not sore though, and I'm not. I don't have um, you know any sinuses issues anymore, but I am congested now, so I'm just trying to work through that. Um, other than that, I feel fine. So, all right. I hope you guys have a good weekend and be safe out there.